Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Leaky Floor. So this is an awesome minigame plugin. You guys might know it as a runner from Mindplex. A really awesome minigame. I love playing that minigame. But pretty much what it is, if you don't know, there's multiple floors in an arena and your players have to run around because the blocks underneath them start to disappear. Now there are clay floors, so the blocks turn from green to yellow to orange to red to kind of indicate when the blocks will disappear and give them time. So this right here is my arena, pretty simple setup, and there's clay blocks, and then a lava pit, and also you're going to need a lobby. So this plugin works awesome, flawlessly, I haven't seen any errors in it. So if you guys want to set this up on your server, really awesome minigame, go ahead and download the plugin in the description, restart your server, and let's go ahead and get started. So some cool features are there's a scoreboard, you can create multiple floors, and you can even have multiple arenas. And there's a join sign, it works awesome. Let's go ahead and get started though. So I only have two floors like I said and then one thing to note is during the setup of the arena we're going to have to set a lose height and what that means is we're going to have to take note of a certain Y corner. So while your players are falling any point where you want your players to lose at or die at so right about here is where I'm going to set mine so 71 that's our Y corner and that's considered our lose height. So let's say they're playing on this floor they fall down and hit that lose height then they're out of the game. So I just have this lava here just for decoration and, and to kind of make them feel like the lava killed them. But in reality, it's actually the lose point that we set that killed them. So this Y coordinate right here. And you guys can make it over here, over here. Depends on your arena, of course. But I'm going to make my lose height right about here. So when they hit this point, they lose. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I just thought I'd explain that real quick so it's easier when the time comes. So let's go ahead and create an arena with slash leaky floor create and let's go ahead and give our arena a name so i'm going to call mine test 2 because i already have one called test now we're going to, have to set our lobby spawn points like i said we're going to need a waiting lobby so after they click the join sign wherever you place the join sign at i'm going to have mine down there when they click on that join sign they're going to be sent here to this waiting lobby to wait for other players to join as well so just stand here type the command slash leaky floor set lobby and then the arena name so i'm going to call mine test 2 there we go all right, so the next thing that we have to do is we have to set the spawn point. So the spawn point where your players all spawn at, let's go ahead and stand up here on the top floor, tell the command slash leaky floor, set spawn, the arena name. Bam, there we go. So now we're going to set the maximum amount of players allowed in this arena to play, and then the minimum. So the minimum needed to start the game. So we're going to tell the command slash leaky floor, set max, the arena name. So test two, and then the maximum that we want to have, I'm going to go with six. You guys can go with whatever you want. Now we're gonna set the minimum amount of players, so slash leaky floor, set min, the arena name, and then I'm gonna go with two. So once two players are in the lobby, the countdown will start, and eventually the game will start. So now, like I was talking about earlier, we're gonna have to set our lose height. Let's go ahead and take a look at our Y coordinate. So pretty much whatever point you want your players to lose at, I'm gonna go with 71, so right here. So just type them can slash leaky floor, set lose height, the arena name, and then the height, aka the Y core. And hit enter. Obviously, it's going to be different for you. But anyways, now we're pretty much done. What we have to do, this is very crucial, you need to restart your server. And if you want to edit anything in the config or the arenas.yml, feel free to. I'm not going to mess around with that, so I'm just going to go ahead and restart my server, and I'll see you guys back in a second. Here we go. When you're back on your server, this plugin actually has a really cool feature that allows you to see if you did the setup correctly. So if you type slash leaky floor, check arena, and then the arena name, then it'll just pop up with the GUI. You can check everything and you can see that you did everything correctly. Pretty cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and place down our join sign. So just place it wherever you want. Type in on the first line bracket, leaky floor with a capital L and then a capital F and then close bracket. On the second line, you're going to want to type your arena name and hit done. So bam, there we go. All right. So unfortunately, Fraps for some reason doesn't allow me to record while I have two Minecraft launchers open. I was gonna show you guys how it works, but I did have time to test it out, and I must say that it works perfectly, no problems, it works really smooth, and it's an awesome mini game. So I'm just gonna join the lobby as it is, just to show you guys what it looks like. There's a scoreboard, there's an awesome feature right here. So once we hit the minimum amount of players, so another player joins, the countdown will start. We can actually click on this to hurry up the countdown to 10 seconds or we can click on this to leave. So that's pretty much it for this plugin tutorial. 